How's it going guys? It is cold today and it's been hot, but it's never in between. It's like the weather doesn't know what it wants to do or what it wants to be. I guess you could say the weather's liberal. Anyway, I've got my Merrill Flintlock here that I built. Gonna be making many more. And I've got a target down here. I wanna try some shot out of this thing. I know what you're thinking, shot out of a rifle? Well, this is actually a smooth rifle and there were examples of these back in the day. Uh, so there is no rifling in this barrel, it's smooth. 45 caliber, smooth rifle. So we're gonna go ahead and get loaded up. We're gonna use some wadding. And I've got this flask filled with seven and a half shot. I love seven and a half shot because you can get more shot in a tighter area just like this 45 barrel um, and you still pack a lot of punch which you know you definitely need that when you're hunting so we got this target down here um, I'll get you guys turned around let's get it loaded up and get started all right I'm using shoots in 3f and I'm gonna try 30 grains of powder first I know that sounds kind of low but in my experience when you use a low charge with shot, you get a tighter pattern. So it's about finding that sweet spot where you get that velocity, you get that punch, but it's not too much to spread that pattern out there too far. Um, all right, so that's 30 grains, and I'm not doing anything super fancy as far as measuring the shot out. I'm just using a powder measure. And uh, the cool thing with this flask as I can do like that cut it off and I've got my powder measure set to 30 keep in mind I'm not measuring this by the ounce or anything obviously uh, I'm just kind of having fun all right guys you can see I got the shot right there um, if you can even see that um, get that closed off and I'm just using good old-fashioned newspaper for wadding so I don't know how much I'm gonna need. I've never done this before in this rifle. Yeah, that feels good. All right, let's get this wadding shoved down there. That feels pretty good. <laughs> I'm excited about this. Let's go ahead and get our, get our shot in there. Grab another piece of wadding. I swear I love newspaper for this. This reminds me of shooting a musket. All right. Get this pan primed. <laughs> Had some oil still from uh, cleaning. <laughs> that got kind of blown out of there. But, um, what I do at this point, what my good friend Bill Thomas taught me, is to actually prick it after you've got the charge loaded. I think that just allows the heat to be able to enter without the powder itself being uh, an obstruction. But it seems to give me a quicker ignition. All right, we got our pan full. Always put the cap back on your powder. Definitely don't want a stray spark getting in there. I'm going to get you guys turned around and we're going to film this. You can see that cardboard box down there I spray painted with uh, some orange paint. I already shot it with a round ball just goofing off. Um, let's go ahead and take a shot at this thing. Definitely a different sound <laughs> and uh, really exciting to see the paper react like that but let's get over there and check it out see a few pellets on that box but that is not looking good so i'm thinking maybe my charge was just a little bit too low possibly not enough shot so we're gonna bump it up 
and see what happens after that. All right, so I've got the, I got 60 grains of powder and I'm doing 60 grains of seven and a half shot, if that makes any sense at all. Um, you know, just a way to measure it. That's about how much shot in a 45 caliber barrel. This is about the size of my barrel. So let's get that down in there. Yeah, that already sounds a little better. Take another piece of wadding. And I'm going from one extreme to the other. So I started off small, now I'm going what I feel like is quite a bit, even though 60 grains isn't that bad. And then maybe we can find a happy medium. But if this works out well, then I don't have to do anything. Get a little powder in the pan here and Good to go. You know, one thing I'm learning with having my own flintlock is to not overfill the pan because it can make a gap between your flint and your frizzen. So when your cock strikes the frizzen, um, it just wants to go like halfway. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's shoot this thing and see what happens. 60 grains of powder and uh, 60 grains of seven and a half shot. Hope you guys can see this okay. 15 yards. In my opinion, I swear it almost looks like it's hitting low. Maybe I need to find a better delivery system, maybe cork, uh, some cork wadding or something like that. Yeah, that just didn't do anything. So um, we're gonna drop down our charge. I'm going to try to go for about 45 grains of powder and probably the same amount of shot if I'm honest and see what we can get with that. So we're at 45 grains of powder and I'm doing still 60 mark on shot and it could be I'm just not putting enough shot, I don't know. But this is part of the fun, just experimenting, seeing what, what makes sense, what works out in the field. I'm trying to just find basically a good squirrel or rabbit load that I could do quickly. One thing's for sure. It's got a real nice pop to it <laughs> with that paper. Here we are. So 45 grains of powder and 60 grains of seven and a half shot. Hopefully you can see this. I think I saw it that time. It's spreading out. I mean like a huge wave, I think. You can see we actually we actually did pretty good on that. I mean that would be a dead squirrel, no problem. That's a that's not a great pattern, but it's not horrible. So let's try this again. We'll knock down maybe to about a 40 grain charge and keep our 60 grain a seven and a half count. And I'll uh, see what else we can do. Load it up with 45 grains of powder and 60 grains of seven and a half shot. And uh, I'm gonna shoot that steel plate down there hanging up and just kind of see what that does. Ooh, she rung it. She definitely rung it and I'm sorry if there's any wind noise. I can't help it. I'll do what I can. Let's go check it out. Yep, I mean we definitely have hits on here. Um, probably not as condensed as I'd like, but I'd say that that was on the box. That's probably my best pattern yet at about 15 yards. And in all fairness, I don't take 
long range shot at squirrels. Most of them are pretty close proximity, so it could actually work out. Oh, you guys want to see my chicken coop? A little chicken coop I've been working on. Still got plenty to do. Got a nice little uh, guillotine door. Oh yeah. It's never a shortage of uh, work to do. But um, I'm going to keep playing around with this load and then I'll get you guys back out um, down the road just to kind of see what we come up with. I think I'm going to try uh, like cork wads and see if that doesn't improve anything at all. Um, I have a feeling it might. Um, but I appreciate you guys watching and uh, I'll definitely see you on the next one. Keep your powder dry. got you back out because I'm shooting round ball now and I just had a pretty good shot so there it goes thanks for watching guys